Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it might be where you are out there. Welcome back to the live stream. My name is Jeff Fritz. Today, today we're doing something a little bit different. Today's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I am your, your, your love squirrel, your something. How's it going out there, chat room? Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm looking... What? Oh, look at that. We've, I've got some sound effects, some extra sound effects here we're going to have fun with today. Um, and we're going to write a little bit of code today. How's it going there? So good to see everybody. This is, this is me repaying the, the generosity of our friend. There she is, Dee Dee Walsh, right there. Yes. Let me add some value. Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed, Svafa. There's... There's some mischief Once today. I had to adjust everything to get this to fit. This isn't just a bunny costume, Namazri. This is this is a squirrel costume. That's right. Node Botanist, thank you so much for the sub. 15 months of support from our friend Node Botanist. And we're going to make a donation to code.org. We're gonna, we make donations for every subscription, squirrel. every cheer. There's one. For every cheer. Uh, and they're all going to our friends at code.org. I'm Scott Bruno, here. <laughs> thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Look at that already. We've activated the 
we, we've activated the hype train. Thank you so much, Bruno. Let me add some value. Dee Dee Walsh with a big cheer. Thank you so much. Big donations to our friends at code.org. Look at that. We've already crossed levels here in the hype train. You and Walker just resubscribed for seven months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for that sub. Let me add some value. <laughs> Potato quality. She's another member of the Live Coders team, just like Copper Beardy I saw in there. Make sure you give them a shout out and a follow. Thank you so much for that cheer. We're supporting code.org today with some of this fun. <laughs> Musical bookworm as well. Thank you so much. Yes. It's, it, there's a lot of fun going on here. Look, JAF1021 is here. Let me add some value. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. We got some meatloaf. We want it now. The meatloaf. Oh, my goodness. I never know what she's doing. Code Phobia with five gift subs. Code Phobia just gifted five subs. Oh my goodness. So here's the deal. Here's the way this works today. For every five gift subs, for every five subs, and we're already out at eight, we're, we're going to go activate five minutes of chipmunk voice mode here. Thank you so much. Code Phobia is another member of the Live Coders team. So we're going to go with, we're going to start with five minutes of chipmunk voices here. And, uh... All of those subs, all of those will be gifted to our friends at code.org. And my employer is going to match all of those donations as well. So you can, you can trust that we're going to help kids learn about technology while, while, getting, while getting a little nutty about, uh, about things today. Thank you so much. Is the color temperature too bright? Well, I had to fix it because of the... Oh this. my. The room is quite bright because of the things. It, it Eagle Hansen, it's a little warm. It's a little warm. I won't lie here. The, that that hype train is still going. We got about four minutes left to get through level three. Dee Dee! <laughs> with another thousand. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. Let's let's turn on the redemptions here. I've got I've got a little thing here. Look at that. It even tells you that I'm doing a redemption, a channel point redemption now. And we're going to activate, where is it? Uh, we're going to activate the hamster voices. There, look at that over there, hamster voices. And um, let's see, we're going to do this for for 15 minutes. Let me activate that. No, you should, you should still get closed captioning properly. Right? Right? That's it. Just gifted five subs. 
Oh my goodness. I'm gonna press to put five more minutes on the clock. <laughs> oh yes. Lots of squirrel. Lots of code. We're gonna have fun today. And I haven't even, nobody's turned on. There's an editor indicator that appears here. Also, if we actually get the code today. Right? Best stream ever. Thank you, Vortex. Thank you. Um, and maybe we can even share. I did I did a voiceover last night for our friend Jean Valjean. Um, sent that over. If, with his permission, we'll share that here on the stream. Potato quality. Look at this. She's laughing at me. And so is Fairy Wings. Look at that up there. Let me add some value. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry 28. Thank you so much. Welcome in, friends. So much love in the chat today. It is Valentine's Day. good to see you. Three minutes left. It should be noted, Mrs. C Sharp Fritz isn't around. She took off. She didn't want any part of this. I can't blame her. <laughs> um, it's, it, it, did I hear, did I hear a tweet go out? Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so feel free to clip. Lots of clips. Let me add some Let's value. spread a little bit of love and awareness about this. You're awesome. Oh, thank you, Frank. I really appreciate that. Let me add some value. More love for our friends at code.org. Thank you so, so much. Lots of emotes going out to folks. This is, this is a little fun. Musical bookworm. <laughs> Musical bookworm just gifted five subs. Oh my goodness! Um, I'm gonna need to go for at least 11 more minutes of squirrel mode. Oh wow! Oh boy! It's, it's a little nutty. It's a little crazy. Thank you so much. Nobody else. My, my gosh, you flatter me. This is tremendous. Uh, all the fun that we're going to have here today. Actually, hopefully we get to writing some code. Um, but lots of subs being given out. And, and right, we're going to try and cross some numbers here so we can unlock more subs that we can have on the channel. So, you know what I want to do before we get too much further? Let's give away our first of five voice mod gift codes. Oh, yes. I'm going to code today. Junie Bong Ash. I'm watching you, Junie. <laughs> All right. Um, when was it decided the personification of squirrels and other critters would be super high pitched? There's our first five minutes, but we need five more. So there we go. I need at least ten more, so we'll just reset all the numbers and let that keep going. Disney in the 60s, Chippendale, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, I didn't even have featured chat open yet. Oh, my lord. Rocket Propel Freeman is here. Yes. Fairy, what do you mean you can't? It's amazing. Welcome. Let's give away a voice mod gift code. Let's, uh, do, 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 do. Is here. Where'd he go? There it is. Six was scared of seven because seven eight nine, but why did seven eight nine? Because you're supposed to eat three squared meals a day. Yep. All right. Let's give away a voice mode. Oh, Dee, thank you so much for that. Another cheer. Thank you very much. Bunch of emotes to folks in chat and uh, another donation to code.org. All right, let me go over here and let's make the command um, different this time. Different. We're going to have to change things. Let's make sure this all works. Do we know the things that it's all set up? Yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> If you'd like to win a, a your own voice mod copy, exclamation point, nuts! 
We'll put you in the box, and you'll get a chance to win a Voice Mod Pro license. Thank you so much for the follow. I, I don't know why you would follow on this crazy, crazy day today. Thank you. Uh, that's right, Janesco. I'm drinking my Madrina's coffee today. Use coupon code FRITZ for 40% off your order. Welcome on in, RG Colombo. Welcome. There we go. All right. Load them all up. Get in there. Get in that list. Come on. I don't have all day here. Right? What do you think this is? We're not screwing around here. We're actually trying to get things accomplished. Okay? Inconceivable! No. We did this on purpose. Right? Is my mother still watching? Hi, Mom. Hi. Oh. You want to be able to change your voice so you don't just sound like a squirrel, so you don't just sound like a hamster. You can change the other things. Another, another fathead cheer. Thank you. Hundred bits. And that was level four. Level five completed. Oh my goodness. We hit all five levels of the hype train. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Look, I've got all kinds of sound effects and voices that I can do here. Uh, let's see. We can go and do... Let me bring up my list while we're waiting. Look, 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 Sound like I'm on a cop chase. Dee Dee! Thank you. Thank you for those hundred bits. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and gifts, gift emotes into the channel. And uh, we're making more donations to code.org. I've got about five minutes left on hamster voice. We'll switch back to hamster voice in a second here. Right, but look at all these funny things you can, you can do with your voice. My, one of my favorites. Party turn. Right? Right? How cool is that? Uh, I don't, well, that's kind of different. All right, I wasn't expecting that one. This is the storyteller one I keep touting. And it sounds like we're getting ready to tell a story, children. Um, I use this one when I want to go to Darth Vader. Let me reset the counters one more time. Um, it's over here. There we go. Last five minutes. So, all kinds of stuff you can do with this. Um, right? Uh, it makes, it's gonna make me sound like a woman. Really? Do I sound like a woman? I don't know. Maybe. Never thought about it. Um, but let me go back to... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Shit, Uh, this is Voice Mod Pro. 
There you go. Congratulations. We're going to do that a couple more times later today. And I'll just leave that running in the background. Let me see. Oh, I think the bot's still going. I think the bot's still going. I found the moose and squirrel, but where is moose? I don't know. No moose? Only squirrel. as a squirrel. We're having fun, and I've got hamster voice for another two minutes. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll wrap up. And two more subs, and we'll do another. Uh oh. Bald bearded yes! builder just resubscribed for 15 months. I don't mean to squirrel you, but 15 months, yo. 15 months is a very long time. Thank you so much. To the bald bearded builder, that's our friend Michael Jolly. Check out his stream. Can I get a shout out for him? And uh, if this was his choice, this was his costume he picked out. One of the dastardly collaborators that that chose this. <laughs> This is only a test. If this were a real Fritz emergency, you'd be hearing about freaking out in panic. No freaking out. No panic. Just dressed as, as a squirrel. But then I go from here to Dev Intersection. An interview, a serious interview, with my friend Richard Campbell, interviewing Kendra Havens right after this, talking about being more productive in Visual Studio, and I'm going to be dressed as a squirrel. This can't be good. This is no good. This, this is this is a problem. Yes, I've got my acorns. See? Nice and look at that. All right? So, can we actually get productive? Do you think we can do this? Oh, wait, 35 more seconds of, of hamster voice. <sighs> Good. Good, 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 good. And then we can actually talk. Don't squirrel away those fruits bits. Cash in for more hamster voice. You can do that. Subscriptions also. And the subscriptions will will make matching donations to code.org. The only thing that would be better would be interviewing Scott, Scott, or Scott in a squirrel outfit. I've, I've interviewed <laughs> other Microsoft executives. Thank you, DB. Um, yes, I've interviewed Microsoft executives while having a purple beard and sequin jacket, and that was a thing. Um, Kit makes a very good point. Uh, I'm a big fan of Scott, but not so much Scott or the other Scott. I like Scott, though. That's a thing. Totally a thing. I think I could stop this. I think I could stop this, right? We got the thing ending. Can we, can we go back to normal voice, Jeff, now? Can we do that? Raphael! It's over there. Raphael could just resubscribe for seven months. Here's the thing. Um, that was enough to, th that was a fifth subscription from somebody in channel, um, to activate hamster mode again. That was enough, that, that was, <laughs> um, tell you what, I'm going to hold off for just a little bit and we'll get back into it. We'll cue these up a little bit. 
yes, you did help with that. Michael Jolly, the bald bearded builder. Can we can we talk about some of these things here and then when we get back into Visual Studio, we'll activate some of these. Bald bearded Urkel. Super Viking. Super Viking just resubscribed for seven months. All right. Working on another five minutes after that. I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track over here. Thank you so much. And uh, emotes for everybody. Yes, Kate's. there's going to be lots of hamster voice today. It's going to be a little nutty, a little crazy. I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. I didn't do that on purpose. Um, it just kind of happened. Um, but, uh, yeah. Woo! There's a little bit of fun today. Um, I think we finished this yesterday. We were working on a component to help make... We're, we're working on some Blazor components. These are components that work in the browser that make web development a little bit easier. We're working on this component here, a tree view, that, right? So you have that tree view navigation down the side of your screen. Well, I think we finished this and I can close this because I merged in the pull request with the last of these to add tree view grid line. So I'm going to close that issue. Let me go back to the issues list. Azure Koi, yes, good morning to you. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, hello. And please feel free to post pictures, clips, share out there on the Twitters, um, all the fun things that are going on around stream today because, wow. Just watch my .NET Conf Blazor session, says Raphael. Yeah? See, I, I know how to bring the fun and do it, do something a little bit different and funny. Uh, when you read the title, what? You thought I meant Squirrel, the Windows installation updater library? Oh no, I meant Squirrel. Right. There's plenty of Squirrel. It's a little squirrel. bit different. Yes, yes. Right. I think he's as dumb as a sack of hammers. Natasha. I am not. Fierce Kittens is hosting us now. Thank you so much, Fierce Kittens. Um, it's Valentine's Day? It's not Halloween? Oh. Hi, Kittens. It's good to see you. Um, let me tell you. I, can I, I just want to drop a quick thank you to, to our friend Fierce Kittens there for helping out with the, the Natasha voiceovers, okay? After 30 years of waiting, 30 years. another chance to cross And the, the horses, yes, horses love JavaScript. Um, oh yes, it would be stuffed. It is a stuffed squirrel costume. It's a little crazy. It's just a little crazy here. We'll be alright. We're gonna do this. Lots of subs being gifted out, absolutely. Um, for every five subs, we're going to, we'll have another five minutes of, of chipmunk time. We paused for a minute there because we, we literally did 20 minutes of chipmunk voices. Um, but we're going to get back into that in just a little bit. I want to talk about a, a little about actually writing some code here. I want to make sure that, you know, if you check the panel below, we're, we're supporting the folks at code.org and their efforts to help teach kids about science and technology in schools. Check them out. There's information at the panel just below here on Twitch. If you're watching the video over there on YouTube, you missed all of this live. But check the description down below and you'll see information, links to more information about code.org. I encourage you to check them out, support them in your way. And, and encourage them, whether it's helping teach, it's making a financial donation, helping them reach their goal of teaching our kids more about technology. Thank you, Bald Clap. I appreciate the very, the very nice, uh, uh, where'd it go? Very nice comment here. Um, and, and, Dee Dee? What? What do you mean? And free shipping? <laughs> oh my goodness this is this is okay let me talk about some software here let's write some code right uh i better get some music playing in the background this is of course mu music to code by from our friend mr carl franklin it's scientifically designed it's engineered to get you in the flow get you in the groove so that whatever it is you're working on you can focus on and get stuff done even if you're dressed as a squirrel i made that part up 
but it's true. Uh, check it out, mtcb.poop.com. Check out the link in the chat room. Thank you so much, Michael Jolly, for... Uh, not Michael Jolly. For Hugo, for posting that. You can execute the music command to learn more. This is not Indigo. This is Blue. This is the original song that started all of these. Not if you sound like a squirrel. Oh, no. We're going to get back into squirrel mode in a little bit. So we're building these components for Blazor. Blazor is this component-first user interface framework that uses Razor, uses C Sharp, and it'll work both on a web server and in WebAssembly. Your choice of where you want it to work. And we're building, we're building components that replicate the web forms functionality that we used to have 20 years ago so that folks can find it easy to migrate from web forms to Blazor. That's the goal. That's where we're getting to. Um, DES asks a very good question about this. Um, let's, this is very on point. Is it warm in the squir squirrel suit? It's a little bit warm. A little bit warm. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Raphael works in a web forms app that relies a lot on third party controls, trying to move most of the libs to net standard. Squirrel. Really looking forward to the project. There's another squirrel. Um, so this isn't going to change those third-party libs, but I hope we set a good path forward so that our friends at the various third-party component vendors take a similar approach with their components. Prebon! Thank you so much for those cheers. Oh my goodness. And we're going to make another donation to code.org. Ten other folks in chat just got Valentine's emotes. Congratulations to you. Um, I don't sound like a squirrel, though. Oh, kittens. Don't make me, don't make me turn it back on, because I've got five minutes already queued up that we're gonna get to here. We will get back into squirrel mode. I want to actually talk about the code that we're gonna write today. And I know some of you are waiting to put me into a weird editor and weird fonts. I know you're going to. I know you're gonna do it. I know I know it. I know it. We'll get there. Um, so. We had, uh, we're working on a form view component here. We started this yesterday, a form view that emulates the form view that comes with web forms. And while we were doing that, we actually got a pull request from our friend, uh, this is Gareth Leachman, who's been doing a lot of great contributions into the project. Want to make sure that, that we take a look at Gareth's contribution here. Um, and the sentiment monitor isn't up there. Let's make sure that's up on the screen. And let's make sure that my scroll across the top, that's up there as well, because things are a little bit different today. There we go. So Gareth gave us a pull request here just to make sure that the footer template inside of our components is working properly. And it's just a it's just a series of unit tests. He gave us a couple unit tests to make sure that the data list footer template would output properly. So, I mean, this is plain and simple. Just make sure that it outputs. That's all I'm looking for. Um, yep, that's all we're looking for. Thanks. And I'm going to approve that because it's just here's our footer template and it works properly and it's passing my build here it's properly building so i'm going to merge i'm going to i would like to squash and merge please so that i have one merge from one commit from these in in my code um so i just need that and confirm we'll merge in gareth's changes there there we go and now they're in my dev branch of source code so that we can continue working and now have those assurances that our footer templates work when we work with the data list to build and work with that. Um, let me take a look here. Rope Blade. I thought there was a framework called Squirrel. There is. It helps with distribution, um, distribution of software. It's written by our friend um, Anna, Anna Betts. Make sure you, you check out her channel. She's broadcasting out here, um, doing a terrific job. On a, and um, Anna, Anna used to, uh, it not used to be an MVP, but is still is not as involved with .NET, but is a tremendous uh, contributor to our technical community, our developer community. Make sure you check out. Um, Gosh, I don't have, I don't have Anna's channel handy. Um, 
Does anybody have Annabeth's channel? Why is the squirrel coating laser? Jean Valjean is here. Um, why? Well, somebody redeemed channel points, and I went into chipmunk mode. And Michael Jolly showed the costume on Amazon, and our friend Dee Dee went and redeemed, went and purchased it, and now look at me. Oh, it's a thing. And then. There are all kinds of channel redemptions, channel point redemptions. Click that little orange gear down at the bottom of the chat room, and you can redeem all kinds of things, um, including uh, Jean Valjean. Can I can I share your uh, can I share the voiceover that I did for you? Do you mind if I play that here on stream? Um, it's a first take. It's I'm not sure if it's the final, if it's what we're going to go with here. I'm going to edit. Um, I so I record all kinds of voiceovers for people. And I did record one for our friend Jean Valjean as a redemption. He redeemed its 25,000 channel points. And um, this is now available for him. You're listening to Jean Valjean. And I am Javert. Do not forget my name. Do not forget me. 24601. So, I, I, that's a lay miss thing, right? That's totally a lame miss thing, right? So uh, let me know if we should change it if it's... He, he likes it. <laughs> All right, good. And it, you can redeem. I can do voiceovers for you as well. It's just there under the channel... Uh, the, the channel points rewards. Was something redeemed while I wasn't looking? More hamsters from Bald Bearded Builder. Okay. Let me explain what we're going to work on. And then I'll go into hamster mode, and I think we've got 10 minutes going here. Oh, boy. All right. All right. So I've got 10 minutes of hamster mode coming up. Oh, boy. We can do this. We can do this. It won't be that bad. It'll be worse. I'm going to reset the timer even to 10 minutes. No, actually, redeem a different hat. We should turn that off today. Um, different hat we're not doing. Because, well, look at me. Right? I can't put on a different hat. Um, you can't wait till we open Visual Studio. And, and look at the nuts and bolts of the project. Oh, man. Really? Really? You're going to go there. Um, let me change my voiceover timer over here to 10 minutes. Um, is that Paulus? Yes. You love the outfits. It's just a little bit crazy. Just a bit. All right. I think we're about ready. Um, let me clear that off. Yes, the puns are so good today. So what I'm going to do, we're going to we're going to work on our form view today. So our form view component, uh, let me reopen here. And while that's loading up, let me get the indicators back on screen. Let me put the bar back up and we're going back into hamster voice. Yes. And um, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to have to hit the voice. I have a tip five minute voice timer button, but I will hit it twice. There we go. Ten minutes of... Well, I, back, I actually have to do the thing, don't I? Right. There we go. Back in the hamster mode. <laughs> yes, I have two microphones. One for the voiceovers and one not. Uh, here we go. It's not too hot. It's a little warm. It's a little warm. We'll be okay, though. Uh, okay. You know what? I need to set the alarm here. Hang on, hang on. Set an alarm for 10... No, wait. Cancel. Siri! Siri! No! Set an alarm for 11.55 a.m. We need to stop a long time. That's what we need. All right. Thank you for the follow, Slacker. 
cubed. Welcome in. Good to see you. The closed captioning is coming off of this microphone, and the hamster voice is coming off of this one. So, that's a thing. Okay. Um, oh, I need to merge in the changes. Uh, let's do this. This is edit. Okay. Uh, get pull. Right. Uh, get merge origin. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now I should have more tests here that pe pop up. And we're working on our form view. So form view is supposed to let us take an object and make it a, a form for us to be able to edit. But, um, we're, we're very early here. We just want to present the object at this point. Let me make sure all my tests work. That's what this little thing is. That's my embedded test explorer inside of uh, Visual Studio. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> uh, exclamation point help. We'll get you the list of commands you can execute right now. Um, there we go. 130 tests. Come on. Tell me they all ran. Do the thing. Why didn't these two run? You should have run. Why didn't you run? Go. Go now. And you blew it! Didn't blow it. Did just what we wanted it to. Okay. Um, so our form view wasn't rendering properly. It was bombing out on us yesterday. So we left it in a work in progress mode. So let's let's run this and see what it looks like and go back and tune it. Get it working properly. Write some tests to make sure it does work. And um, start adding features. Oh no. The, the, the puns are rich with this one. Such a relaxing day. Watch some C-sharp fritz, sit on the couch, to not fritz and chill. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much for another cheer. And we're gonna make a donation to code.org. All of our cheers, all of our subscriptions are going to be donated to code.org all quarter long. And if you make a subscription for every five subscriptions here on channel, we'll go hamster voice, this voice, for five minutes longer. There's something about the word, about the hamster voice, and the word test. That's hilarious. Let me write some tests. We're going to test this out. We're going to make sure it works. And do a thing. Hey, Marco. Hey, Marco. Hello. Insta Fluff. Hello. Welcome in. So good to see you, my friend. Insta Fluff is another member of the Live Coders team. And uh, I'm dressed as a squirrel. It doesn't get so much more fluffy than this. Oh. Thank you so much, Dee Dee. Um, so th it's been tremendous to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, appreciate you joining us. Thank you for the follow, Web Dev Ted. I promise we're going to get to the web code. I promise. Chris Jones asks, is this pair not programming? No. No. Not at all. No. Um, tests are great for debugging your code. Without them, some bugs can be a tough nut to crack. Yes. Yes. That's true. Because that is programming in a nutshell. <laughs> no. 
Okay, back to normal. Back to normal. Ah, just connected Dev Man. Hello, hello. So good to see you. One, two, three, four, five. I am So we are four subscriptions from our next from our next five minutes of squirreling around. Um Alright, let me see here. So this is telling me that the item object isn't set inside of my component as we're working here. So I need to go back over to... Let me get rid of some of these other things. So I'm just working with the form view. 
right? So here's my form view component, and I'm trying to iterate over the item object. So inside of here, right? I'm trying to call item template with the current item. Hmm. Oh, InstaFluff with the comment of the day so far. That was nuts. A little bit. Some say C Sharp Fritz's squirrel stream was fun. Others thought he might be going out on a limb. Right? Shame. 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 No, no shame in this. Just fun, and we're raising money for our friends at code.org. Um, and so far we've, see, I, I, I tried to figure out how to set up a subscription counter and I don't count subscriptions, so I couldn't get it working in stream elements. Stream elements, talk to me. Your, your user interface mm, needs a little help. Um, but we are at 21 subscriptions so far today. We've already done more than 20 minutes, 25, including Michael Jolly's redemption, uh, of, of what's it called? Squirrel mode. Chipmunk mode. I, I can't believe these. Be sure to get your significant other a forget-me-nut. No. No. Thank you for the follow. Um, Chib, welcome in. Yes. Instafluff points out... Wait a sec. It didn't click. That we're just chip monkeying around no no prototype what's with the outfit i'm i'm dressed as a squirrel isn't isn't that a thing don't people do this regularly this is serious business thank you for the follow marco mech welcome in hello hello um it, and yeah juni clarifies oh no he's just nutty that's me just a little bit. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not going there. I'm not even going to say the word. So this, calling the item template and passing in current item. Oh, current item. It's, I didn't even say the word, Phoenix, and you got me. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Squirrel is so bad. He's good. I am. <laughs> um, no. No. I don't. You know what I do? I drink and I know things. I do. Um, <sighs> the dad jokes are strong today. Hope you got some food squirreled away. Yes. yes. Smab lobbing some squirrels on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smab hit a hundred thousand Fritz bits. Oh wow. So this isn't actually passing in an item properly here. Something's wrong where this isn't being set. Hmm. Um, you know what this should be? Um, if current item equals null, this should be something like if current item equals null or current item equals uh, default hey, item type. What? What ORM do I use? You suspect in hibernate. There was a redemption, it didn't pop up. I didn't. Oh, you know, uh, not that one. Hang on. Um, where'd it go? It didn't, give me one second here. It's here, it's that one. 
What was the redemption? What happened in there? Smab with another five minutes of hamster mode. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hard to read. But I'll go with peanut fell. Yeah, I need to restart. 
Let me just restart Visual Studio and we'll get that on. You didn't come here to see any coding. Why not? Don't we want code? Don't we like code? I like code. Code makes me happy. Developers, 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 so let's see. Uh, we're in the middle of a voice mod. Redemption. And thank you for the follow. Uh, Linoleum Bob. Welcome in. Hi, Quantum Brat. Um, this is Squirrel. Did I go to a new branch? Yeah, I'm on this branch. We're good. We're good. Thank you for the follow. Uh, well, Nicaro, you said welcome in. Hello. There, how's your peanut fun now? It is a little warm in here now. It's a little warm. And I think we hit the end. There it is. I'm going to need to bump the font size up. I'm going to turn off the voice. Turn off the voice. Where'd the voice go? Turn it off. Turn it off. There it is. <sighs> okay. And let me turn on the 15 minute timer for the fonts and turn on the indicators for that. So this and that. And this is custom font. Frank! Lucero's raided my stream with two views. Thank you so much for the raid, Frank. Welcome in. How's it going there, raiders? My name is Jeff Fritz, and I'm dressed as a squirrel. Go ahead, defend the channel. Go ahead, absolutely. Welcome in, raiders. We're, we're trying to write some blazer code today. We're trying to build some components for web developers to be more productive with, with blazer that look and feel like the old ASP.NET web forms components, com controls, so that you can hopefully migrate your, your markup and get the same functionality. And we just had somebody redeem their own custom font. This is peanut font. Yeah. I've got to use this for the next 15 minutes. You see the timer there. Fine. We will do this. Do I know the hamster dance song? No. No, we're not doing that. No, 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 no. But we are going to, after I get this working, we're going to give away another, uh, we're going to give away another voice mod code here live on stream. I don't, why am I getting this? This doesn't make sense. Equals cannot be applied between these two. Um, can I just turn this into dot equals? Right, and do that? I guess that works. If it does not equal... Right, and now let me restart that and see what that looks like. I know the hamster dance, but I'm not going to do it, Junie. Yep, we're giving away Voice Mod Pro codes, so you can get your copy of Voice Mod, change your voice, so you can sound like all kinds of goofy things. Um, even our favorite party mode. Right, that's a thing. That's totally a thing that you'll be able to do when we give away these codes here on stream. That's still not working. I'm still not getting this thing loading up properly. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Well, that's in on parameter set async. Hang on. Now we're getting somewhere. Form razor line 22 here. So it's telling me current item is null. That that's in... <laughs> We're going to do Darth Vader mode. We're going to do Darth Vader mode with this. Okay. Let's put up the Vader mode. Change over. Here we go. Five minutes with Darth Vader. Linoleum Bob. I hope you're enjoying this. Marco, I am your father. And a squirrel. That's weird. Um, do, 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 do. Um, hmm. Right, right. 
this should be a thing. Um, I have a feeling I shouldn't, I should do this after, like later in, in the, uh, life cycle here, right? See, now I've got timers for you, friends, so you know how long I'm in pain here. Uh, oh, you want, you want no? You want... So let me, let me move this, let me move this to on after render. Let's see if we move this later in the process, if we can make things better. Uh, I'll just comment these ones out. It is I, Darth Squirrel. No, no, that's not a thing, no. Is that a thing? Um, and item star any. Make sure there's something in there. Um, and I only want to do that on first render. First render. Let's see if we can get that working. Um, should we get Cruel Tony's do 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 in a Vader or Thanos voice mod? Well, it doesn't mod her, it only mods me, because it's coming off of this. Um, let's see. Not a thing. Still, it doesn't work. Um, hmm. Maybe I need to do, <clears throat> do this after, because it's right. Um, so if I do that, make this a thing. That's not a thing. How am I going to get anything done here? You crazy kids. Ooh. <laughs> Does that work? Nope. Nope. Mm. The amount of power on the dark side. It's nuts. That's a thing. Quantum Brass. You do not know the power of the dark side. It's kind of nutty. If you can't do Darth Vader without a voice mod, you're not doing it right. No. But this is more fun. Right? Why am I not getting this? Why am I not getting my items? Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. It's over here, it's on after render, and it sets the, the list here, and it walks down the chain. So, um, yeah, this should be called next, right? Um, if current item is null, no, I, I, it is null, I think. I don't think it's actually recompiling. I need to restart. Restart it! 30 seconds left. 20 seconds. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get back out of this. And I'm gonna sound like normal Jeff. Yay! Woohoo! Happy it worked. Did the thing. Ah, did that. Um, thank you for the follow. SCK007. Why is no? Is null is pattern matching. If you do double equals, it's it's doing strict equality, which isn't going to be um, which isn't going to be always a match because you can override the equals operator. Um, it shouldn't be a struct. Shouldn't. Um, I can do this. 
right? And I can say uh, where item type, right? I can, right? Uh, new, isn't that a thing? Isn't that how you do that? Uh, no. Shoot, this is weird. How do I major? Mary Jo Stabler is here. Mary Jo, so good to see you. Um, uh, this is this is a little nice. Mary Jo is another member of the Live Coders team. Um, and if I can I comment? Can I comment there? No. How does that work when you want to chain these together? When you want to have the where? I am going a little nuts. Just a little. Uh, shoot, how do you constrain the generic type? I'm blanking on this. Blanking. Um, uh, let's see here. Right? Docs. Microsoft com. Uh, generic type constraints. Right? Where T item class. That's, that's what we want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where item type uh, class no, but see that's right. Uh, right? How there's a syntax there, right? With that where statement that I need to get right. Right? It's something like, but why isn't uh? Uh, do I need to do that? Item type. It's like where item type is. No. Yeah, the generic declaration. Right? Constraints on type parameters. Where T. There we go. Like that. I don't think I need the... And I, I don't wanna... Right? <clears throat> right, so where T colon whatever. It is new, double paren. Right, so that should must be the last constraint specified. It is. But do I do that? How do I specify? Uh, it's so confusing. Right, because I'm I'm chair chaining these together. So I so do I do something like this and like that. Ah, there we go. Right? So now this can be null. Um, I think I've got it now. Yeah, we need to put the where at the end. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, <sighs> where are we next? What's next? I think... So now let me go back over to my simple, well, wait, I made all those changes. Let's make sure it still works, right? So, um, I'm waiting for the bosses to see what I've done here. You know, uh, oops, extra one of those. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, Didi with the tweet with my photo. Yes, yes. So this went out on the Twitters. So, uh, let's see, simple read-only form, and that still works good. Let me add more. Let me go back to actually using the template to build out that, that very simple, right? How much more time do I have here? Another minute, okay. So now, using the template, right? No, that didn't work. 
Um, you know what? I probably shouldn't try to show this if item isn't a thing. Right? Um, um, Kito Kibo, that is, um, that's what's it called. You know the thing. Karnak, thank you. I need to have a Karnak command, don't I? Mm. Um, let's do this. I need to put an if statement in here. If, uh, current item, um, I thought I had this in here. If current item equals null, loading, otherwise, right? Hopefully that works. I'm gonna find a tool that fits on your stream. Nice. And you can customize the color and the formatting of it. There's a bunch of different options in there. So now if I go back over there, there it goes. There it is. Now it works. You just need to test for whether or not it exists first. Oh, I can go back to my font. Oh my goodness. I can go back to my font. Check this out. I wired up a hotkey to take me right back to my fonts. Look at this. So I don't have to look at this peanut font anymore. I can go right back to Comic Sans. Watch this. Boom. Wait, that's not Comic Sans. <gasps> that's Comic Sans. I went to Comic Sans. I didn't want Comic Sans. I wanted Cascadia Code. That's Cascadia Code. But you want Comic Sans. <sighs> Alright, so Vader mode is complete. Your font is complete. I'm going to Comic Sans for 15 minutes now. Oh. Oh, you're, you're killing me here, chat room. All right, watch this. We can do this. Comic Sans. And start the timer. There it is. 15 minutes of Comic Sans. This is what happens when you let people control your stream. Yes, and it's amazing. It's amazing. It is so good. Right? Um, I just saw there was an uh, Gareth just commented on an issue can this be closed which one is this 14 this should have been closed automatically and it didn't yeah close that it should have because it was referenced all right. So we got the constraints working. We're in Comic Sans mode now. Oof. Okay, so I now have it properly formatting and I have the form view doing form things. Okay. Um, oh, Wookie Slayer. Yes. I clicked the button. The stream is nuts. Oh, yes. A little bit crazy. Thank you for the follow, Mark3186. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome, welcome. Um, let me see here. Just keeping an eye on things. Good. So, we have, we have our simple form, but we don't have a pager down at the bottom yet. So, let's look at what the pager... Before I... Actually... Let's commit what we've got so far because we have it working, right? Um, and let's let's say uh, uh, completed. This is really proof of concept for form view, right? It's read only and it's just one record. Squirrel. You can't actually navigate. Yes, I'm a squirrel. All right, I'm a squirrel. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Let me let me explain something to you. Um, our friend Didi sent the, this to the house, and here I am. Oh, I've got Natasha commands for you. It's better than nuts. It's, it's... Squirrel is so bad. He's good. It's so good. Right? So, 
I think he's as dumb as a sack of hammers. No, I'm not that dumb. What command prompt tool am I using? This is posh git that I'm using. Um, <clears throat> Super Viking asks a good question. It didn't automatically play it. There it is. Would I recommend a novice developer learn command line Git or is the GUI acceptable in 2020? I think the graphical user interface for Git is acceptable um, for, for newer developers. If you have to do anything that's beyond simple commits, uh, and, and and rebases. You need to get into some more uh, commits, push, pull, stash. You need to get a little bit further into some of the weeds. You're going to need to learn the command line. But for the novice developer that's just getting started, you're going to be just fine with some of the graphical user interfaces. But I'm I'm like DNI Stream. I, I've been using Git for a long time, so I believe command line all the way. It, it, the command line is tremendous power, but there is nothing to be ashamed of if you use the command line instead. I want to do a rebase here and rebase all all the way back so that I've got the um, so that I've got the uh, uh, so that I've got the form view working properly. So I'm going to rebase all the way back here to a one five one three. Now, rebase is a way to rewrite history. Um, so this was A15130. And I'm going to be able to choose what I do here. I'm going to squash these other... Um, these other uh, commits here. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to choose that one. Um, but actually, I want to skip this one. How do I skip this? I don't want to remove it. But I don't want to squash into it. How do I skip it? I don't see a way to skip it. Right? Um, hmm... I want to pick that commit, and I want to pick the other one after Let it. Let me add some value. <laughs> Net Cody! Thank you so much for that. Ha, 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 um, this is awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, there, I'm just going to let that go, and we'll figure this out later. Uh, right, let me commit this. Yeah, let me just push it. We're going to end up squashing a little bit here along the way. Um, so I'm going to push that out so we have those updates. Blazer Mr. Magoo arrived. Hello. Fantastic. Okay. Next step. We're going to put a pager onto this. The pager down at the bottom. Let me go bring up um, this. Uh, let me debug start that so we can see what the pager looks like. And get that queued up here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I need to send a quick message here. Give me one second. Um, something that I need to move. Uh huh. So we're over here looking at form view. Let's look at the form view. And right, it has this little pager here at the bottom that it has by default without doing anything. So we're gonna end up building a pager here. Um, so let's take a look at what the pager looks like. It is, where'd it go? Did I, did I scroll past it? Okay, so there's my one widget and here's the pager. So it is, in, it's another table Where's Robert of the tables when you need him? 
Always open a notepad. I'm a big fan of using notepad, 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 notepad to keep these things handy. So it's a table with a TR with a with TDs going across for each one of the numbers. But how how wide does it go? Hmm. Not quite sure how wide across it'll go. Um, let's start with this and just put a for loop on there that'll that'll give you the click capabilities. And it's not gonna do it's not gonna do JavaScript, but we'll do C sharp to work and navigate this thing. So if we're gonna put together a little pager, I know we're gonna end up doing a pager later, a real pager, but for now, we know this is gonna be a TR and we're gonna do a for I equals, right, for some counter, right? Uh, sure, I equals, and let's start at one and we'll make it less than or equal to length so that we don't have to do funny calculations. The length is going to be a, uh, Items dot count. Right? Should that be that's a method. So that. Um so now I can create links, link buttons, hyperlinks that when you click it, change the thing, right? Um href equals and we'll have it just go to well, I don't I don't need anything there, do I? But if it's the same page, if it's the same number that we're on, then we, we need to make it, we need to make it um, just that block of text. So I need to know where I am in the count. All right, so let's put a, um, I don't know if it's a parameter, but I'm, I'm gonna make this protected to start. I start creating properties. Uh, by making them as simple as possible, making them as protected, as private as possible, and only open up access to them to other classes after I realize that, yes, there's something that, that needs to go there. Karnak just starts, then stops for you. Uh-oh. Um, don't know. Check your event log. See if it reports something in the event log. This is a protected int, and I'll just, I'll just call this uh, position. And I'll default that to one. Um, because when you set a different item, I'm gonna set this position. And I wanna set that all in one shot. I should probably put it in get set here, right? Right, so then instead of doing this, to make this property just a little bit more handy, a little bit more useful, return current item set uh, current item equals value. And the position I want to get out of no, wait a sec. Hang on, do this the other way. I was right the first time. When the position is set, right? If I do that, right, that moves this. Get, return the position, good. Set, um, position equals value. And I'll say uh, current item equals uh, items uh, skip uh, value minus one uh, first or default. So now I've set the current item when I set the position. Ah, oh, that's gonna be so much easier to do now. Yes, yes, okay. So now I can say if uh, 
i equals right position then i'm going to output the formatting of span with the number like that otherwise a href i don't care what it looks like uh, da, da, da. why don't you like that span um oh it needs to be in the td fine right i got this i got this um at on click is going to be uh let's call create some method navigate pager um i i need to put some this around it like that um something like this i right now navigate pager doesn't exist yet i need to create that so you know what i could just say position equals couldn't i right couldn't i just do that <clears throat> yes every i am four redemptions away four subscriptions from another uh from another squirrel voice um but we're coming up on the end of our time together today i need to put a td around this and that should give me a simple pager now and then we'll write some unit tests around this oh i can go back to cascadia code in just 30 seconds GitHub one is bust. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that didn't work. And that one didn't work. No. No. I think he's as dumb as a sack of hammers. No, I'm not dumb. Um, let me see here. Build render tree. So something some value is null. What value is null? What value is null? Oh, thank you. Go back to, let me turn off all the things here. Turn that off, and this off. And let me go back to Cascadia code. That's not it. You didn't do it right. Oh, are you kidding? What, why? I search for change font and it doesn't change the font. See, but it doesn't hit that. Squirrel! Right? Fine. Change font. See, now, that was working just fine when I went to Comic Sans. I go back to Cascadia Code. Well, now it works. See that? See that? Uh, all right. No, no more different fonts. No. All right. <clears throat> I need to bump the font size down. I do need to make it smaller. That is a little bit big. I bumped it up because that peanut font was a little out there. There we go. So somewhere in my rendering here, it's telling me that it's wrong. Um, I'm supposed to have a status call with, with with Scott Hanselman later today. I'm gonna be dressed like this by that time. Oh man. What do I do, chat room? What do I do? Um, I could do shift mouse wheel, yes, and that zooms the editor, absolutely. I prefer to actually force it to the font size that I want. But somewhere in here, it's... It's not setting appropriately. Uh, oh, oh. Um, it's because it doesn't have position, right? Right? 
Um, let's not do this. Let's say position equals one. Does that work? That might work. That'll do the thing, I think. No worries, DNI stream. I, I think it does all the same for us. Nope. What did you do? Storyteller mode! Alright, that has its own sound. So we will jump over to storyteller mode. For five minutes. Let me tell you all about how web pages are built, children. Right? Let's see. Um, a server renders some code and sends it to the browser. And the browser, the browser paints it on the screen, unless it's a bad browser and doesn't like it. So, um, I did something wrong here. Something's not quite right. Value cannot be known. Um, I don't know where that is. Now I just have to start commenting and uncommenting to figure out where. It's telling me, oh, oh, if items isn't set yet, let's do that. That, it's this bit right here. That's what it's going to be. If items uh, equals null, right? Loading. Otherwise, do our for loop. There we go. I think that'll get it working. There we go. Let me tell you all about how my life got flipped right upside down, and how I got, and how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Is the bright voice notification box new? Yes. Yes, it is. Wanted to make it clear, this isn't what we always do. So, there's my first widget. Did these others work? No. Rats. I think I need to put a thing in here. Right? Pac-Man Jr. Pac-Man just resubscribed for 23 months. 23 months? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, my friend. And we're going to make a donation to code.org. Thank you very much. And we are three subscriptions away from Chipmunk mode for another five minutes. Did that? Okay, so I fixed that. Let me restart this. Children, we're having a wonderful time today. Our follower goal is increasing. 300 some away. Oh my goodness. It warms my heart. Let's see, is this? No. It didn't have to do it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Um, oh, you know what I should do? I should cancel the... There's a cancel... Right? I can cancel the event bubble. Isn't that a thing? That's a thing. Totally a thing. Right? How did I do that? How do I cancel the... Stop propagation or prevent default. Prevent default. Let's do that too. Right? Let me go ahead. Now why don't you like that? It's not a boom. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. One click. Stop propagation. True. Hopefully that Let's see. Gotta go. Stream is giving you a seizure. Oh no! Goodbye, DNI stream. Goodbye. Let's see. Now do I have it? No. 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 Uh, hmm. So what do I put for the HRF? I could cheat. That's totally cheating. Totally, totally cheating. But it'll work. I 
think it will. Right? Uh. Ooh. Okay. It's doing something. Juni Von Esch. Oh no. The Princess Squirrel Bride Coder writes Code. Code is what brings us together today. Code that blessed arrangement, the code within a code, and knowledge, true knowledge, will for follow you forever. So treasure your code. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so this isn't loading when I page to the next one. We're close. We're close, friends. So let's wire up the debugger when that position is set. Uh, oh, wait. No, it should reevaluate. No. After this, the state has changed. I think we got it. Um, might have to put some brackets around this thing. Which means I need a semi. Right? Right? Here we go, let's make that happen. Layla Coates it is here! Oh my gosh! Good to see you, my friends. Layla says, had to come by and say hello to the squirrel. Hello! Oh, we're up. We're done with Storyteller Voice. Really? We can... Okay. Now she's having giggle fits. Yes, yes. Squirrely Friday, indeed. It's um. Let's have some fun, right? How can I stay serious with that voice? Are you kidding? Oh, it didn't. It didn't load. Wait, no, it's doing something. It's not loading. Hmm. Look, look, and my headset keeps falling off of me. You're so glad you work from home? Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, all right, Midnight Tangent Ryan had a problem with that. Hmm. I will follow up with you afterwards. But I, you know what? I haven't given away another, another code for voice mod. I can give away another code for voice mod right now. Indrak, welcome. Appreciate you joining us. Let's give away another, uh, well, clear that out there. Let's give away another set of, another code for voice mod pro. Um, and I just need to follow up on this. Um, but if you're, if you want to win, uh, your own copy of voice mod pro, this is what I use to make, make me sound like a, a squirrel, a chipmunk, whatever you'd like. And, um, all kinds of great stuff in here. That's just tremendous fun to turn on and play with. So you can hear me change my voice. Oh yeah. It's crazy. Um, make yourself sound like a boss, a chipmunk, um, or even auto-tuner. Exclamation point. See, I'm playing with the sound so much I can't even remember what I'm doing. Exclamation point nuts. 
we'll put you in the in the box so that you can have a chance to win a voice mod pro license courtesy of our friends at voice mod today there you go it, it, did you expect me to have another command that was less crazy for this inconceivable no no this is really the one we're doing um uh, <clears throat> Gibbody squared hello hello welcome Thank you for the follow, Cheyenne. F <laughs> Welcome in. Um, yeah, Midnight Engine Ryan, I will follow up on that. And we'll uh, make sure that you get a, a code there. Um, I copied in the exact... Yeah, that's, that's supposed to work. Um, but I have a contact, I have a community manager at VoiceMod that'll make sure that works for you. All right. <clears throat> Is that it? <clears throat> <coughs> Everybody in the box, is that all, all we have today? Let me know. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to finish exclamation point nuts if you'd like to win your own copy of Voice Mod. Let me tell you, it goes over really well when you're on Skype, talking to your colleagues, and you can drop in and uh, change your voice to something fun. 15 seconds, and we'll hit the button. Exclamation point nuts. N-U-T-S. And we'll give it away. IoT Fire. Hello. Welcome. Yep. Activate license session. Section. That's where you're supposed to put it. Here we go. Let's give away another code. And do it now. Round and round it goes. We're going to give one to... Is that Ruddle? Congratulations. I have a code right here. And I'll follow up with you. There you go. Um, I have a few more of those to give away. We might save them for another time because we are quickly running out of time. Um, thank you for the follow. Corsan, welcome in. It won a license to the to Voice Mod Pro. So I'm just trying to get this, this state has changed to appropriately navigate when I click here and it's it's not. Um, so maybe maybe I need to get rid of this, right? Because now I have it doing JavaScript void there. It's nuts, dev man. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. So, but we're going to wrap up here in just a few minutes and we're going to set up to raid over to the uh, dev intersection channel. Now, I'm still getting into that loading and that's loading... Let's take a look, see here. While current item equals null. So it's not finding a current item. I'm going to wire up the debugger here. Let's see if we can do something there and figure out what's going on. So I'm setting the position, which should be right here. <clears throat> right, so I'm setting it to 2. So it should be 2 minus 1. So it, so it should skip 1 and take the first one after that. And set that to the current item. And that should work, right? Um, I think. Um, you're telling me I don't need to... I thought I didn't have to, but I was trying to see if it was something that I was missing. But let me wire up the debugger, and we'll take a look and, and see exactly what's going on there with how and why that's that's might not be working properly. So I'm going to put music back on. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm, I was feeling good about this. Uh, I'm not working on that component right now, so delete that breakpoint. There we go. Over here, my read-only form. So it's... I do have items. Skip, first or default, good. I should get here. So when I click on two, right, items, there's a collection. 
So we're going to skip. Wait, why does it say four? Where did it get four? Where did four come from? <gasps> because that's what I is at this point. Look, 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 look. It's over in here, and position is four. Uh, I'm sorry, I is four. Because we went through the entire list. Yeah, I is the loop variable. So this is actually kind of a common, uh, a common thing here. And I'm blanking on what I need to be doing to fix this. Um, var this position equals I. So then can I just say this position and get that to work? Snark cheese. What? What? What are you talking about? I have a bit of a squirrel problem. Maybe. Just a little. Alright, so now if I click these... There we go! Beautiful! So now I have a pager that pages. And that's all the time that I really have for us today, friends. Um, but we got the pager working, right? I have five minutes until I need to be ready for the Dev Intersection channel. So here's what I'm going to do. Before I attempt to call my friend Richard Campbell and get that started and scare all the folks over at Dev Intersection. Um, what I want to be able to do is start writing some unit tests for this. Then it is properly building out and writing my tests for this. So... I don't know what the tests look like yet, but I'm gonna add a folder here for form view, and we're gonna start working there on Sunday. Um, oh, did we? Yeah, the, the bot crashed. It finally crashed. And there we go. We can try that shout out for Dev Intersection again. Um, Marcus. No. No. Don't do that to me. Um, <clears throat> and and Vyshirt says, Favorite quote, I don't have ducks or rows. I have squirrels. And they are at a rave. What? What? Hugo looks like he missed a lot. I even see a fur loop in, in there. Are you kidding? That's wrong. Even missed the giveaway. Eh, sorry about that. Okay, friends. I think we're just about done here. Let me check in my, my source code. Let's get things bundled up here. And get ready for our next stream. Um, let me hop over here to this. Let's see what we have. Yep, so it's just my form view. So, uh, finished uh, initial form view pager. Right now, I mean, it, it works. It does the minimum. It is at the minimum viable to be a form view. It, does the right the bare minimum set of features to put something on the screen but a form view also has the ability to edit and define insert forms that you're going to be able to edit the current item and and work with it so there are other features that, that we're going to start building but we're going to pick back up on sunday writing some unit tests and making sure that our form view works the way it's supposed to thanks so much friends i really appreciate you hanging around here while we went a little nuts well, we had some, some fun together. This was just a little crazy. It was a lot crazy. 
so much squirrel time, so many sub- uh, subscriptions. We're gonna make we're gonna make a ton of donations here to code.org. Lots of cheers all throughout the stream. Um, gosh, just looking real quick at uh, where is it? At, at some of the totals, some of the information coming back from Twitch. Um, we're we're gonna donate. Um, let me see, where's, I don't see cheers on this anywhere, but we're going to donate easily more than a hundred dollars over to our friends at code.org. Thanks to all the folks that subscribe today. All right, friends, we're going to get ready. We're going to set up to raid the dev intersection channel. And that's where, that's where I'm going to be next. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to kick off the raid and start the channel over there. So you land and it'll be on the coming soon screen while I start to get folks loaded in. All right. Tons of info to nibble on. You're darn right. Thanks so much, friends. We had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. Um, this video, like all my other videos, will be over on YouTube. I'm going to spend a bunch of time this afternoon getting videos loaded onto YouTube. But for now, I'm getting ready to... Connect with my friend Richard Campbell, and we're going to be talking to Kendra Havens about how you can be more productive in Visual Studio. Here comes the raid call. It's not a raid call, but here comes the raid. Get ready to join us over there. Yes, the Kendra Havens. You know who I'm talking about. She is tremendous. So much fun. And maybe I'll even be able to get a chance to get out of this squirrel suit. Hopefully. All right, friends, I will see you over there. Take care.